The Hus Condor debuted in 1984 at the New Orleans World's Fair under the name Cyclo Tower. The ride would be the newest from what was at the time the most innovative flat ride manufacturer in the world, Hus. The ride was designed to be installed both permanently and to travel on fairgrounds. The ride was a breakthrough at the time, being one of the first tall thrill rides ever produced. Add to that this ride could be transported and it was extremely impressive for its time. Keep in mind that when this ride debuted, the average drop tower looked like this. The Condor consisted of a central tower of varying height but usually no taller than 120 feet or 36 meters. Inside the tower, there was a counterweight, as well as an electric winch that could raise the sweep arm assembly to the top of the tower. Around the central tower sits four smaller sweep arms that spin around the tower. At the end of each of these sweeps, there sits a smaller ring of seven rider vehicles. Both sets of sweeps can spin independently from each other, and the rider vehicles can swing out much like on a Huss Enterprise. The original ride was offered with two rider vehicle types, the prototype and the bird theme. The ride can run with a pre-programmed cycle or with direct operator control. If all seats were filled with two riders, Huss claimed the ride could process 1,700 riders per hour. The ride would also be innovative for its time, featuring pneumatic locking doors, meaning an operator did not have to go around to each seat to unlock them. This was one of the first rides to have a system like this. The ride was a huge success, with over 30 being sold, mostly in the 1980s and 90s. The original Condor would travel and stop at a few permanent parks. The majority of the original Condors are now closed as they've become hard to maintain as time has gone on. One of the most well-known traveling Condors was Icarus. The ride was known for being one of the fastest Condors in the world, traveling to fairs around Europe. In 2007, the ride was taken off the fair circuit and placed into storage. In 2017, it would be bought by Cedar Fair along with several other classic European fair rides. The ride would reopen at Worlds of Fun in 2017. Unfortunately, the ride would have a rough time reopening, and several maintenance issues meant it operated sporadically at the park. After the 2022 season, the ride was closed, and as of this video's creation in January 2024, the ride is standing but not operating. Most traveling fairs treated the Condor as a thrill ride, running it for longer and at higher speeds, while most parks treated it as more of a family ride, running it slower and for less time. This has meant that Condors at parks have enjoyed a much longer life than those that were traveling. Today, no Hus Condors are known to still be traveling. A few more well-known versions of the model include Flying Falcon at Hershey Park, which closed in 2016, and Condor at Six Flags Great America and Great Escape. These two rides still operate, though they definitely move a lot slower than Condors of the past. Hus discontinued the original Condor in 2017, citing low sales and interest. Hus would later reintroduce the Condor in 2013 under the new model name Condor 2G, meaning second generation. This was a modernized version of the ride, mostly featuring quality of life upgrades over the original. The new ride would only be available in a park version. The new ride would offer one major change compared to the original, this being the option to replace two of the classic sweeps rider vehicles with outside facing seats, like what could be found on a Hus Giant Frisbee. To date, only one has been bought in this model version, opening at Denmark's Tivoli Gardens in 2016. The ride actually has two lines, one for the family traditional gondola sweeps, and one for the thrill outside facing seats. All seats are equipped with a small compartment for riders to secure their loose articles, one of the first rides to ever have a feature like this built in. As of this video's creation, only two other Condor 2Gs have been installed both being traditional setups in both in China, with one at Happy Valley, Beijing, and the other at Sun Tzu Central Park. The original prototype Condor and the one from Fantasia Land were actually converted into Star Flyers after they closed. They can now be found operating at Luna Park in France and Euro Park in Italy. The Hus Condor is a historic ride that has changed the skyline of many parks and fairs when it was introduced. Today, the original Condor is becoming rarer and rarer, with only a few still operating. The second generation has proven to not be near as large of a success as the original, and it's generally seen as more of a family ride. If you do have a Condor near you, be sure to ride it, as these rides are likely to become rarer and rarer as time goes on. Let us know what you think of the Condor in the comments below. As always, if we missed something or got something incorrect, please correct us in the comments below. As a reminder, you can view the remaining episodes of Flat Ride Friday right now by becoming a channel member. Thanks for watching and see you next week.